I'm Jed. And I'm Sandy. We're a nomadic couple traveling the United States in our self-converted Sprinter van. In this video, we're headed to one of our favorite small mountain towns in Colorado. Our adventures in Colorado are being uploaded using Nomad Internet. If you need your own reliable internet on the go, be sure to check the description below. I know we say that we go to a lot of amazing places, but today this place is truly special and one of our favorites. Today we are in Uray, Colorado, also known as the Switzerland of America. Let me tell you, this is absolutely one of our favorite towns we've ever been to. We visited here back in 2015, 2016, before we actually started travel vlogging, and it is. It is one of our favorite places to come back to. It's just truly beautiful, magical. It's a quaint little town. I mean, look at this. Look at this view. You, yeah. it does it doesn't get any better than this. All right, so we're gonna start our day off just stopping by the visitor center real quick and see what kind of information they have. And then we're planning on hiking what is known as the Perimeter Trail, which is a trail that basically encircles its entire way around your ray, yeah, through the cliffs on the sides of the town. It's gonna be fun. So as we said, we're hiking the Uray Perimeter Trail and the start of that is located right across from the visitor center. So this hike is six miles long with about 1,500 feet of elevation gain. I think we've already picked up a, a, million? <laughs> a million, just this first trail coming up. Um, so it's pretty steep start, but we're already starting to get some great views from up here. We can actually see the hot springs behind us, which we're gonna visit later in the town of Uray. And then of course the San Juan Mountains, which are absolutely spectacular. They probably are some of my favorite mountains in the whole entire world. So this trail so far is absolutely breathtaking. Probably because of all the switchbacks we're heading up. We're actually doing this trail in a clockwise manner. From everything that we read, we're trying to get the hard part out of the way first, which is this initial part. I hope we read correctly, because that's kind of a butt kicker. If you look directly in front of us, they got all kinds of stuff out here from silver to copper, everything else. There used to be three railroads that ran through town, but there's still a ton of old mining ruins that you can see today. So the town of Uray is, it's in a canyon. You can see these massive walls jutting up from the bottom and that's what we're walking along now, these really narrow paths. Looks like there's quite a decent drop. Heights make me nervous and this has got me a little on edge. No pun intended. Right behind me is Cascade Falls. There are, a couple, I think, another waterfall. There, actually, there is some more waterfalls on the side. This is one of the first ones we come to. You can actually walk to this from downtown as well. There's a trail that you can come to. I think it's on 8th Avenue, and you can just like a quarter of a mile up just to hike to this if you don't want to do this whole thing. It's a beautiful fall. Not a whole lot of water in it, but we're almost back to winter time when we'll start getting that snowpack. But I bet you it's spectacular in this early summer, springtime. So there is a small spur right off the perimeter trail. It's not even any distance of mentioning, and you can get a better view of the waterfall from the bottom. Good place to stop for a snack. Absolutely had to take the jacket off. When we started this hike, it was in the 50s. It's only supposed to reach 60 degrees, but between the physical activity and the sun, it gets pretty warm. Okay, so what boneheaded thing did I just do? Jed dropped his water bottle down the side of the cliff. It's not really a cliff. I don't, yeah, you probably can't see it, but it's it's right around here. All right. We didn't have to send out search and rescue. <laughs> so yeah, don't do this at home, kids. Right there is the ledge that we were walking along earlier. Kind of hard to get any kind of reference being this far away, but at least we got the water bottle back. So the cool thing about this trail is you can access it from so many points around town. You can access it by the trail going up to the waterfall, visitor center where we came in. Here is another trail that goes down to Fifth Avenue. And these are kind of all the way around. So you can really start and end this hike anywhere. If you wanted to do it in two days instead of all in one, you could split it up into two hikes. And you know, if we wanted to hop down into town, have lunch and then come back up, we could totally do that. I would not want to do this after a full belly. No, and then we'd have to do that steep, steep hike back up to like this area again. So, but you could do that if you wanted to. 
we've come across the part of the trail called the baby's bathtubs or baby bathtubs. It's called that because there's a lot of indentations in the rock that look like, I guess, little bathtubs for babies. That's what I read anyway. This place is also really popular during the summertime with kids. It's a 0.4 mile hike from town. You can come up here, dip your feet in, kind of splash around. It's a really beautiful little area. But of course, this time of year, there's not a lot of water and it's really too cold to, you know, kind of splash around. So I think we're gonna move on. Skip the bath, baby. And remember, when you're on the trail, be sure to pick up after yourself, or at least pick up after people that may have accidentally dropped it. There's also this little beautiful canyon. I know you can't see it too well because I don't want to get too close to the edge, but there's a stream that runs through it. It's, it's, a, it's absolutely beautiful. I wish we could get down there and closer access to it, but we're just gonna have to admire the view from here. Okie dokie, Smokey. You may have noticed that we just passed over this giant, giant pipe. It takes water from here all the way to the hydroelectric station in Uray. And I believe it generates probably a good amount of power for the town. Question is, what happens during winter time? I don't know about that. So if the water freezes, does this does it still work? I don't know. So this did not exist the last time we visited Uray. So they now have a Via Ferrata here. It's down in this beautiful canyon. We could actually see some of the cables and the holds as we were walking along here. This would be amazing to do. It's in this beautiful canyon. This canyon is along, what's it called? The ice trail or the ice canyon trail or something like yeah, that. Yeah, something I can't remember. like that. Something like that. Basically brings you along this area. And this is also popular in the winter for ice climbing through here. So if you come here and you have the time, that's something to do for sure. There's a little optional side trip you can take to Box Canyon. I highly recommend it. It's $5 per person. You do have to go down, I believe it's a half mile trail to get here and it's kind of steep. It's kind of crowded today, but it's okay. Definitely the most crowded part of the trail so far. This place also serves some snacks and some sodas. So if you're hungry or thirsty or have to use the bathroom, this is a great stop. High bridge, here we come. So we've made it up to the high bridge and it is a little nerve wracking because it's very high. So we are actually on a bridge. This bridge spans across that canyon that we were just down in. And so you can get a higher perspective of it where we could see the water coming down through the canyon. We couldn't see where it was coming from, but as we look up this canyon, we can actually see where all the water is coming through. And it's a pretty long canyon through here as it comes through and then out as it heads down through the downtown area of Uray. And now we're going to go through this tunnel. Further up the trail, you're going to see something that's truly unique in Ure. There's a ginormous Box Canyon sign. This sign has been around since the early 1900s. No kidding. It's been refurbished since then and equipped with LED lights. You can see it all the way from town and it looks really awesome at night. It's kind of kitschy and kind of cheesy, but I absolutely love it. Whew, y'all, that 
that was a hike, but we are back down into the town of Uray. And the cool thing is, is this hike actually dumped us right out at the campground that we're staying at. We actually started here in the campground, walked up to the visitor center, which is where we hiked that, or started the hike this morning. And we did that purposely so we could end up right here because there's no better place to end your hike and be back at the van and be able to rest. This is the 4J. It's got kind of a weird name. We're gonna call it 4J campground. And it's the only campground. Well, there, there is one like out at the edge of town, but this is like two blocks from being downtown. So we can go out and walk around easy. And then there's actually a path through the campground that will take you over to the Uray Hot Springs. It's a very convenient location. So if you're looking for a place to stay in the area in your, in your RV, your van, whatever, we suggest this place. Good morning, guys. We're taking a walk around the quaint little town of Uray this morning after getting our tails handed to us on the perimeter trail yesterday. Yeah, sorry we bailed on you. We had every intention of coming back and maybe having dinner, going to the hot springs, but no worries. We're gonna take you out to lunch today and then later today we're going to the hot springs. But first, we're gonna walk around this beautiful historic town of Uray, which was founded in 1877. So there were some really cool old historic buildings and stuff here. And then there's lots of neat little shops and stuff around town. And you know, Sandy loves to shop. Tell. He doesn't like to shop. So I found a nice little piece of shade while Sandy goes shopping. I'm back. What'd you get? A towel. A towel. A towel. How many towels do we have in the van? You guys want to see? Maybe. It's this just is, stripey. This is, this is why you watch our That's channel. That's what it looks like. It's stripey. Yes, That's come it. to Uray and buy a towel. Hey, speaking of towels, are you hungry? You ready I, for I lunch? Am, I am hungry. We should eat a towel. <laughs> I think we can find a little something better than a towel. Okay, let's do it. just finished up our lunch at Full Tilt Saloon. I was super impressed. Yeah, it was absolutely delicious. So I guess when we walked in the door, we kind of expected a lot of bar type food and they do have some things on the menu, like they have a burger and fish and chips. So they did have some bar type things, but they also had a lot of stuff that was had more of a gourmet feel. I feel like it's bar food elevated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had the green chili Philly. It's basically a Philly cheesesteak with hatch green chilies. If you've been watching for half a minute, then you know that I love hatch green chilies and they just went so well on a Philly cheesesteak. And even their fries were really good and crispy and they had really good fries with your Philly cheesesteak. I had the bulgogi bowl and it was delicious. So it was kind of a deconstructed bulgogi bowl. It didn't have all the traditional elements that you would you know, often see at a Korean restaurant. It had, you know, some rice. The bulgogi beef that they had was melt in your mouth delicious. It was so good. Okay, so let's just go visit a little bit more of town and then we'll head over to the hot springs in a little bit. All right, so we are walking from the RV park that we're staying at over to the Uray Hot Springs. It's what, maybe five, six, seven minute walk at most? Something like that. Anyway, we're all dressed and we're gonna go check out these hot springs. Yes, I am ready for it. My body's a little achy today from the hike yesterday. So I think this is exactly what we need to end our time here in Uray. So aren't you glad you got your towel? I am, it worked perfect for the hot springs. So we're obviously not at the hot springs right now. What happened was we got there and there were a ton of people. So it just felt a little bit awkward having the camera out a lot. So and talking and everything. So we just decided to get a couple shots to show you what it's like. It's the most beautiful view. So Uray, as you can tell from the other stuff that we've showed you in this video, is surrounded on three sides by mountains. And when you're sitting in those hot springs and just staring at those mountains, it is absolutely gorgeous. They do have three thermal pools, but they also have a shallow pool pool, which is perfect for kids. They have one of the hot springs is for anybody. And then they have an adults only hot spring area. Mm -hmm. The other pool was closed when we were there. I don't know they why. Have a, and they also have like some swimming lanes and stuff. It is a recreation center as well. So they have like a gym, showers and stuff like that. If you are nomadic like us and you're in a van or something like that and you don't have showers, you can rent the shower there too as well. I don't know exactly how much it is because we just paid to get 
in to the hot springs so that we can use the showers after. It's amazing. I, I, I think we should have gone more like every day, all day. All right, guys, unfortunately, our time in Uray, which honestly is one of our favorite Colorado mountain towns, is coming to an end. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and the notifications bell so you know anytime we release a new video. And until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful. Call it a day